Today I am opening up day eight of my Bon Maman advent calendar. Okay, let's look for number eight. Oh, here's number eight. It's on the bottom here. Let's see what's in number eight. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. And number eight is apricot bergamot spread. That sounds really good too. I am making apricot bergamot glazed carrots. So here I have some carrots which I have peeled and cleaned and then I've cut them into pieces. And I am going to put these in my crock pot. Here are the carrot pieces in my crock pot. This is my Chefman crock pot. It is a small crock pot. I wanna say it's about one and a half liters or one and a half quarts. Um, but I just put all the carrots in there. I don't know how many carrots I cut up, um, maybe like eight or nine carrots. Obviously, um, obviously you can cut them up any way you want and you can use as many carrots as you want. I'm adding two other ingredients to the crock pot. I am going to add a little bit of butter, which is what I have on the left. Uh, this is Kerrygold Irish butter, and I just learned about this the other day. Supposedly this butter actually has more vitamins in it than any other butter because it's made from grass-fed cows. So uh, I bought some of it to try. It's really good. So I'm probably gonna add about a tablespoon of the butter, and then I'm also using this. This is the Bon Maman Apricot Bergamot spread that I got in my advent calendar today. First, before I use this, I'm gonna taste it. Love that pop. Love the color. Can't wait to taste this. It's like Earl Grey tea flavored apricot jam, if that makes any sense. If you've ever had Earl Grey tea, you know the taste of bergamot. If you add that to apricot jam, that's what this tastes like. I really like it. It's a really interesting flavor. Something that I've never had before. So I'm gonna add some butter to the crock pot. I'm just kind of eyeballing uh, a tablespoon. These are, these are thin slices of butter, maybe one more. That's that, and that'll melt nicely onto the carrots. And then I'm gonna add this entire jar of fruit spread, of the apricot spread. And this will blend nicely with the butter and form a, a nice glaze for the carrots. I'll probably have to stir it around later, but it, it'll cook nicely. I'm not adding any liquid to this at all. There's the fruit spread and there's the butter. Obviously you can use any kind of apricot jam uh, that you have or any kind of apricot fruit spread. I put the lid on the crock pot, I turned it on high, and we'll be back probably around four hours, and we'll see how the carrots are. It is now five hours later, so let's check on these carrots. This is what they look like. I'm just gonna toss them a little bit to make sure they uh, have glaze on them. There's just enough glaze on the bottom. They smell really good. This makes a really nice side dish. So I was cooking these on high for about four hours and then I turned them down to low for the last hour just because I knew I couldn't film anything right away. So. I'm just gonna put some of these on a plate right now so I can taste them, and then I'm gonna leave the rest in here on warm. So here are the carrots. I'm gonna taste one. They're really nice. They are not overly sweet at all. It's just like a very faint apricot butter flavor. I also do taste a little bit of the bergamot, so I'm really happy with these. I also like the fact that the carrots are um, somewhat the consistency of a roasted carrot. I don't like boiled carrots or steamed carrots, and because I didn't put any water in the slow cooker, uh, these are more like a roasted carrot. I'm really enjoying them. Of course, you could add salt or pepper if you like. You could add additional butter. 
but these have just like a mild sweetness which is nice let me see if i could grab some of the sauce from the bottom there are some more of the uh the glaze let's taste this to be honest that tasted the same the apricot fruit spread and the butter goes so good with the carrots I'm definitely enjoying these. It would be nice if these had a little bit more of the apricot flavor. Some pieces have more than others, but I think the jar of fruit spread was a little bit too small. It would have been nice to have about double the amount of fruit spread that I used. If I was using jam, I'd probably use at least a quarter cup of jam. So the little jar that I had is an eighth of a cup. It's two tablespoons. I'd probably double that get a lot uh, a lot more flavor. But overall, these are really nice. They add a little bit of sweetness to the carrots, but they don't go crazy. Like it's not like candied carrots. I don't like it when they're too sweet. This is just like a, a mild sweetness that's added. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like me to post more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.